Welcome to a new vlog, I thought. Let's just start with this week's groceries. Okay, so it's quite a lot this time. But to be fair, my parents ordered some stuff as well. Um, I'll just put it in the fridge along with all my other stuff and my parents' stuff. <laughs> There's probably some space left. Anyway, I got milk. Um, I didn't get milk for a couple of weeks because the farmer was on vacation. As people sometimes do in summer. So I um, yeah, didn't have milk then, but I have milk again now. I also have my eggs. Um, and if I can't get rid of my eggs in time, then, well, the easy solution is just to um, give them to my parents. So they have extra eggs. And then we all eat them, but, you know, yeah, that's the way I get rid of my uh, groceries that I don't need. Um, I also have goat cheese for in salads. Like the white crumbly goat cheese. Uh, I want to make pasta. This does melt, so that's good. So that's going to go over there. There's also a watermelon that I'm going to chop up in bits and put in um, cling wrap. Because it fell. Um, so it's kind of broken. But if I just chop it into three parts now, put it in cling wrap, then it'll be fine. And we can still eat it tomorrow. The three of us at home here. Um, yeah. Then I have New, Ze New Zealand spinach. It says New Zealand spinach, but it's just a breed of spinach. It was actually just, you know, yeah, it was grown like <laughs> near here in uh, the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, or around Rotterdam at least. Zevenhuizen to be precise, which is, um, yeah, basically like right next to here. Um, so yeah, that's also going to go into the pasta. And what fits better with spinach than spinach pasta? Uh, it's actually a refill for that spinach pasta, but this is basically just pasta made of spinach. Very surprising, I know, but it tastes just like regular pasta, only it's healthier because you immediately were oh, going to put this. It can just sort of stay there for now, yeah. Um, but it tastes exactly like normal spinach, but I mean, normal spinach, normal pasta. But with just, you know, a bit of not really a spinach flavor, it just has some extra flavor. It's really, really nice and it's extra healthy. I also have apple pear juice, which is. Something I really enjoy drinking when it's like warmer weather and just in general it just tastes really 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 good um, I also have this Bread this is I have no idea how to properly Like uh, translate this but like salty crust ciabatta Yeah, try to try to throw this through Google translate or something um, But this is basically the sort of thing like yes, you still put it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about five minutes and then it goes all nice and like you know crispy and like good but like the crust is so good like it's salty duh it's so good like seriously i love this on its own i love it with pasta i love it with soups i love it with anything i still have soup in the freezer so i actually might use it with the soup come to think of it um and then i also have apples as usual my parents also got carrots and alouette potatoes and i got a gravity Aubergine. It looks so cool. I always feel almost guilty for chopping it up because it looks so cool. Um, but this is also going to go into the pasta. And my parents, well, they originally like they ordered normal beans. But those were um, not available. So instead they got sanguine beans. I'd never heard of those before, but they literally look... They almost, they actually fit quite nicely with my gravity aubergine. Seriously. They look really cool. Like, seriously, I had to Google what it looked like because it was like, I saw the name and I was like, what is this? Like, I got the email at work that they were replaced by this. Wow. They look really, really fancy, but I don't like the taste of beans, so my parents can just uh, eat those. But yeah, those are my um, groceries of this week. And just a really short bit of vlog. Uh, but a little while back, I ordered a sort of tasting package at Hertog Jan, which contains a lot of... Uh, chocolate so basically this is supposed to fit really nice with their Grand Passage beer so my dad and I are gonna try it sometime soon but it looks so cool seriously like uh, I guess they're supposed to look like grapes but they look like little planets to me really pretty so yeah can't wait to try it
Okay, so we're done tasting. Um, between these two, yes, we actually picked a choice. Like, um, it's like they have, like, once per year they have these special beers that were, like, kept in a, um, one of those, like, wine, like, wooden vat thingies. I don't know what they're called in English. Anyways, barrel. A barrel. A wine barrel. Um, but anyways, so the sort of tastes like whatever used to be in there. Um, anyway. But yeah, so they have this here, they have these two, and these two. So like we picked like, you know, bits of like separations of two so we could easily pick and choose. Um, this one is more like apple and kind of fresh, it is nice. But between these two we bought like this one the best, which is more fruity and... I know, there's a pretty strong flavor, kind of sweet. I really, really like this one. Um, I really did like all of them, but... You know, between these two, I like this one the best. Um, and in between these two, this one really tastes like red wine. And it's it's nice. Um, but really not as special, to me at least, as this one. Uh, like both my dad and I luckily... Phone, shut up. My dad and I bo both actually luckily agreed on the flavors um, that we liked most. But this one really, really, really tastes nicely. Like, like, like really strong liquor. Um... Yeah, very distinct taste. We both really liked it. Um, so, yeah. However, choosing between this and this is kind of difficult. So, even though I said I would order like one bottle of the special beer, I'm probably going to order both a bottle of this and a bottle of this because I really can't choose. So, yeah, those are our conclusions. And I went to the cinema yesterday and I realized I hadn't actually done a movie review yet. So, here we are. Um, yeah, the movie I went to was Nope by Jordan Peele, and like seriously, it's probably the best horror movie I've seen in a long time, like the best new horror movie I've seen in a long time. It's actually really, really, really good, and that's a rare thing for a horror movie, because it's usually there's something that's like, I don't know, it's usually horror movies are amusing, but at the same time kind of like, okay, like there's always this point where it's like, okay... That's cliche. Um, this one was not. This one was actually interesting all throughout. It didn't get cliche or boring. It kept interesting. Um, it starts out in this like way that grabs your attention, but in a way that's like, okay, what the f is actually going on here? Like, what am I watching? You know, that way <laughs> it immediately grabs your attention, and then gradually you get taken in by the actual story, the actual plot of the movie. Which is actually very interesting. It's sort of a horror sci-fi-esque uh, thing. It's really, really interesting. Like, at no point does it get boring or cliche. It just remains interesting. It never... It never messes up. Like, a lot of more horror movies... And they're still amusing. But, like, a lot of horror movies in terms of actually being a good story... A lot of them mess up at some point in time. And this one does not. Like, seriously, it's it's a really, really, really good horror movie. So if you like sci-fi-ish horror movies, I definitely recommend this one. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that was my movie review. I don't really have anything else to say right now. Um, this is my last week of work, by the way, before I have two weeks vacation. Which is probably going to be the next vlog, actually. I don't know what date this vlog is supposed to end. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say for now. I'll uh, talk to you again later. And, um, I, it's, what day is today? It's Tuesday today. I just went to the cinema, so I thought I'd do a quick movie review. And yes, I'm totally in a sports top because it's really freaking warm again. Um, but yeah, the movie I've seen today is Fall. Basically, it's, um, well, shit happens in the beginning of the movie. Then two friends decide to go climb a old TV tower that's like 600 meters tall. Which is a lot. Um, so they do that, and then the uh, because the thing is old and it doesn't get maintained anymore, the ladder proceeds to drop down beneath them. So they're stuck on a little platform on top of the tower. Like, okay. Without their backpack, because that fell down. Um, not all the way to the bottom, which plays a part in the rest of the story as well. Yeah, and then they need to somehow get their asses back down or get help. And that's not actually all that easy because their phones don't have reception there. For some reason their phones do have enough battery to last for three days without charging. My phone wouldn't be able to do that, but okay. But they don't have phone reception. 
So yeah, that's a bit problematic. Um, and then also this entire like thing of like their backstory and love and like a bit of a love triangle, that sort of stuff. It's a very interesting story. It's about betrayal, friendship and impending doom. And if you don't have a fear of heights going into the movie, you will have it by the end of this. I was already kind of scared of heights, so at some point during the movie I was like, okay, let's not look at this part. Ugh, seriously. Um, but yeah, I mean, at first I was like a little bit sceptic because I was like skeptical, skeptical, yeah. I need to not Dutchify English. Anyway, um, because I was like, how, how is a movie going to be interesting if they're literally, the, throughout the, mostly in the entire movie, stuck on top of a tower? It's interesting. Like seriously, it doesn't get boring, it doesn't get overly cliché. It's it's actually a really really well made, well thought out, interesting movie. The visuals are really good, if incredibly jarring, if you're scared of heights. Um, I definitely like, if, if, if you enjoy more like very very tense, tragic movies, I definitely recommend this one. It's not a fun movie, but it is a very, very interesting movie. And uh, it's definitely a movie that you'll remember. It's, it's, it's a really, really good movie. So, yeah. If you're into that kind of movies, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, so, yeah. That was my uh, short review. I'm just going to check my work meal now. And then um, probably going to make dinner at some point in time. And it's Wednesday today. I just thought I'd end the vlog today because I'm going on vacation in two days and I'll start a new vlog then. Uh, also, I wanted... Yes, I'm sweaty as hell. It's really warm here. Anyway, I uh, for autumn already ordered a new cardigan amongst other things. Um, seriously though, like I needed a vintage style cardigan. Well, needed, you know, sort of needed. Anyway, this is hand embroidered. Look how freaking pretty it is. Like, it's so freaking gorgeous. Wow. So well made. Like, this is all around the uh, collarbones. So, so, so beautiful. It also has it on the sleeves. So stunning. Like, wow. I love anything glittery and this is just so freaking beautiful. Um, it's by Seamsters of Bloomsbury, by the way. Really, really, really good brand there from England. Um, and yeah, all, all like 40s and 50s vintage style stuff. So cool. Um, right up my alley. So yeah, I'm probably going to bring that to vacation. And well, I hope that's going to be less hot. Otherwise, I will not wear it. Because it's way too warm now to wear it. So anyway, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd end the vlog here. Because I don't think I'll have anything interesting to say tomorrow. And I'll see you again in the next vlog anyway. Um, if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, actually mostly do makeup tutorials, then you can always subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggest my videos more often to new people. Um, yeah, for now, as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!